Hi friends, welcome back to USMLE team. Today's topic is procanamide. Uh, before starting this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and uh, please tell your friends to subscribe. Uh, we require your subscription badly. So please subscribe and please tell your friends to subscribe. You can share this video with your friends so that they can watch and if they have any updates, they can tell us. Okay, uh, this is a very important drug, um, procanamide. Okay, let me start with this. This belongs to a class of antiarrhythmic uh, uh, class 1A, okay, that acts by blocking uh, Na plus channels, sodium channels, okay. So, um, antiarrhythmic agent used for the medical treatment of cardiac arrhythmias classified by the Wagon Williams classification system as uh, class 1A. Uh, okay, so remember about this. Let me move on to the next mechanism of action. Uh, recently, I uploaded a video on uh, classification of antiarrhythmic drugs. Just go through that because that's very important for USML step one examination. Okay, just type uh, classification of antiarrhythmic drugs by USML team. You will get this in my channel. Okay, uh, mechanism. It is a sodium channel blocker which blocks and uh, open sodium channels and prolongs the cardiac action potential. Uh, outwards potassium K plus and currents may be blocked. This results in slowed conduction and ultimately decrease the rate of rise of the action potential which may result in widening of a QRS, QRS on electrocardiogram. This is a very very important point you should remember about this drug. This drug is used for both supraventricular and ventricular arrhythmias. For example, it can be used to convert a new onset atrial fibrillation. Though it is a suboptimal for this purpose, it can also be used to treat Wolf Parkinson White syndrome by prolonging the refractory period of the accessory pathway. So, this is regarding the um, uh, use of this uh, drug and this is very important okay definitely they will ask you this in the examination and they will trick you um, either way so try to remember the mechanism of action that's very important for this drug and even side effects I will tell you later okay uh, you can remember um, okay the adverse effects includes rash, myalgia, hypersensitivity to reaction fever, granulocytosis, drug induced lupus erythematosus. This is very very important. This is very important. This is a side effect they expect uh, they expect you to tell in the examination, okay? And uh, and uh, pro arrhythmic effects like atrocity point is and this is very important you should know about, okay? Uh, even you can see thrombocytopenia um, that's also an important uh, side effect of this drug, okay? So Thank you so much for watching my video. Take care. Oh, we have another thing. Oh, sorry. Uh, treatment with a procanamide can cause anti uh, antibody production against the cellular components accounting for the systemic lupus erythematosus like adverse reactions. The systemic lupus erythematosus reactions may present months or years after the initiation of the drug. A positive antihistone antibody uh, blood test may be useful in determining whether an SLE presentation is a drug induced. So if you want to know the cause for this, if, if you are suspecting the cause for this SLC, SLC, SLE is a drug, then you should check antihistone antibodies uh, because antihistone antibodies uh, um, uh, helps you to determine whether the SLE is due to the drugs or not. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Take care.